Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Thank God, AKA Abby Lee Miller for 90 Day Fiance. Without 90 Day Fiance, we as a society would have never been introduced to Big Ed. Just think about living in a world where we never got to see Big Ed slather his head with mayonnaise. That's a moment I'll never forget. Today we're gonna be watching the beautiful love story between 90 Day Fiance's Angela and Michael. Angela's in her mid 50s and Michael is like 30, I think. This brings me back to Britney Spears' wise words, if you don't have a man, don't worry. Maybe he's just not born yet. Hear that, ladies? Some of you guys might be like 23 and be like, I'm never gonna find someone and don't worry. Your husband is probably in the womb. Right now, your husband is a piece of sperm meeting an egg. And in 20 years, when you're 50 and he's 20, you guys will hit it off. Don't you worry. Angela's from Georgia, Michael's from Nigeria, and I guess they met on Facebook, where all true love stories are formed. I don't know how they found each other on Facebook. I don't know if Michael like searched Honey Boo Boo, but at the age of 50 and found Angela's profile. We're not sure. That's not even shade by the way. Honey Boo Boo is an icon. And if I was 50 and resembled her in any way, I would be thankful. I'm excited to witness the love story between Angela and Michael because I understand the appeal of women in their 50s. Women in their 50s are always a good time. They like wine, lifetime movies. They're probably like kind of over their kids by that point, so they're fun to hang out with. They'll stay late in an Applebee's with you and like talk shit about everyone they work with. They're a great time, so I understand marrying one. I totally get it. We're gonna start off with a clip where Angela is just arriving to Nigeria. The cougar has flown over the ocean and she's ready to play with her little man cub. Yes. I know you mostly tired and hungry. Oh my God. I'm gonna handcuff you to the shower. Oh my God. You'd expect your 53 year old fiance to, you know, be a little tired after a long plane ride, but not Angela. Angie is ready to play. And her type of playing involves handcuffing Michael to the hotel shower. She doesn't have jet lag. She wants to gag on your dick. I apologize. Last time Angela visited, I was shocked with your sex. It was intense. But now, I mean, I'm used to her. See, we do it like this. Are you kidding me? Now take off your pants. Take your pants off. At this point, I don't really know anything about Angela, but I would not trust her with handcuffs. I feel like she'd take it to a whole new level. I wouldn't be let out for days. It would start off all fun, like, oh my God, I'm handcuffed to the hotel lamp. And then like 14 hours would pass and you'd be like, okay, you gotta let me off. This isn't funny anymore. I'm not turned on. I'm feeling claustrophobic. I'm feeling anxious. Come on. Take the pants off. Take your pants off. just enough. I could just such a weenie. But isn't it cute? She let him out. Thank God. I was getting worried. Thank God, AKA Abby Lee Miller. Look at this, Michael. Come here. What? You like them? You gonna wear them for me? I'll put it on. Go. Sexy baby. Woo woo. <laughs> Hey, you learn something new every day. Some people, you know, they have sexual fetishes that involve Donald Trump's face. When some people see Donald's big old face right on the middle of some sexy underwear, they get all kinds of riled up. They get aroused. She's pulled out the handcuffs, the Donald Trump underwear. Next, I bet she's gonna pull a big Trump head, put it on Michael, and make him call her Melania. I don't wanna see this, but I do. I feel Angela just want to play, you know, the lovey-dovey. It's a good sign for the relationship. Oh, sexy baby. <sighs> Look how into it he is. Aww. There's someone out there for everyone. Somebody out there's probably thinking, aw, I bet nobody will ever be into me tying them up to a hotel lamp right before I make them wear Trump sexual merchandise. But Michael's into it. Don't give up. There's someone out there for you. Michael is so much more open sexually than he was the first time we met last year. This year, he is all about this white chocolate. <laughs> this is romantic. You know, around this time of the year, you know, Christmas is in a few days. I always love watching romantic, wholesome love stories. So this is perfect. I brought these oh. for you. Wait, 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 wait. You got me suits? Yes, two of them. Ah! <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. 
Oh my God, these are expensive. Yeah, pretty wow. much. Just look at this sugar mama showering her sugar baby in fancy gifts like it's nothing. I love when he was like, are these expensive? And she was like, pretty much. All casually, like, yeah, it's expensive, but you know, it's not much to Ange. Just some spare change, don't worry, Angie's got it. I spend money like nobody's business, Mikey. Just wait till you come to America, Mikey. We'll be sleeping on a mattress full of crumpled up $100 bills. You just wait, Michael. Get ready for a life of luxury. In America with Angie. Cut to the reality of Angela in America. <laughs> I, I'm excited I'm getting married. Now that's the reaction every sugar mama wants their sugar baby to have. He is thrilled, hunty. Ecstatic. He didn't just simply mutter a pathetic, thank you, sugar mama. He went into a spontaneous dance. He made questionable noises. I stand the whole thing. never given a gift to anyone again, unless they do that. That is showing appreciation, sis. Before I watched these clips, I assumed he was just trying to scam a woman in her 50s. But I gotta say, he is into it. I genuinely think he is in love with Angela. Oh, he likes wearing the Trump underwear. He likes getting tied up and getting suits. They're a match made in heaven. I love this. Michael's not a scammer. He wants to hammer Angela. Do they have an OnlyFans? I wouldn't watch, except I would. I need to reevaluate my life. Now we have a clip where Angela's gonna meet some of Mike's Nigerian friends. Mikey likes Angie, but do Mikey's friends like Angie? Time to find out. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh no. This is uncomfy. When you have to dab the sweat off your forehead when you've only been having the interaction for 10 seconds. If you're already having the anxious sweats within 10 seconds of an interaction, this isn't gonna end well. I thought it was a guy we was talking to. A ma matter of fact, thank y'all for coming. I'm done. Thank you. I appreciate y'all for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Is she sure she appreciates them coming? <laughs> Do doesn't seem like it. That's a wrap, Mike. I'm done. Where's your car? I'm done. She's done. Oh shit. Their relationship was going so well. He is gonna get handcuffed tonight and it's not gonna be in a sexual way. I'm genuinely concerned for Michael. The crew better have checked on him that night because he is tied up. Donald Trump merchandise everywhere. Someone needs to check on him. Take your ass to the apartment. I want, I want, I want to go. I want to be away from you. There's not gonna be a marriage. And you too. Take me to the apartment. Why, why did you act like that? Shut up! No! Angela just called off the wedding and I'm pretty sure it's just because Michael has female friends. Shit, no! I think that's all that happened, right? Like he had female friends. He was friends with some people who were part of the opposite gender. No. Is the wedding over? I wanted to see our girl Angie in a white dress walk down the aisle. No, I can't deal with this right before Christmas. Bruh, that shut up at the end? <laughs> I felt that. Right? That was a strong shut up. Shut up! Shut up! That was pretty good actually. So even though Angela doesn't like Michael being around members of the opposite sex, for some reason now, they're going to a strip club. What could go wrong? Okay, I was wrong. They are having a humping time. Time to cancel all the popular TikTok dancers. Angela just stole your career. When Angie hit the dance floor, Charlie's career went into the valley. That wasn't even a good insult. Into the valley? Like, what does that mean? I'm just glad that they're over the drama and just having a good time enjoying each other's company. I'm really rooting for Angie and Mikey. <laughs> He looked, and you could look and see the girl up on a podium, and he watched her. He looked, 
They went to a strip club and he looked at a stripper. Are you kidding me? You failed the test, Mikey boy. This was all a masterminded test by Angie. She brought him to the strip club surrounded by girls shaking their things. She wanted to see if he would look because obviously if he looked, that means that no. And he looked. Fail. Honestly though, like why are they at a strip club? Can't they just go to a regular club to avoid Michael accidentally looking at the bent over ass clapping woman? You know what they say, don't play with fire if you don't want to get burned. And by burned in this situation, your man might accidentally look at the woman bent over clapping her butt cheeks and synchronization to the music playing. I didn't go to this party to watch Michael watch and ass when you ain't me but once. I'm sorry, that's real. Oh, so that's why Angie's mad. They've only sloshed it in the bedroom once. So she gets insecure when he looks at other women because he's only rode up and down her magic carpet once. One time, wait, it just hit me. Why can't Michael look at other women when Angie literally gets to look at Donald Trump's face during their sexual activities? Can you imagine if Michael gave Angela a lingerie set with, I don't know, Paula Dean's face on it? She wouldn't be having it. She's a Gosh dang hypocrite. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, baby. Stop, Michael. Go look at some more cheeks and ass. I've seen all I want to see. Yeah, Michael, go away. Go rub your eyeballs all over some more boobies and ass cheeks. I'm out of here. Peace. This marriage is not, it's not a marriage. Because can you imagine what this do when I'm not there? Can you imagine? I can't do it, sissy. Oh, the poor friend just looking forward, trying to avoid any eye contact with Angie. <laughs> She's just like, yep, uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. Because she doesn't want to end up on the wrong side of Angela's rage. <laughs> if I was Angela's friend in that situation, I would do the same thing. I'd just be like, yep, yeah, you're right. He shouldn't have looked at the stripper while we're at the strip club. Yeah, we went to a strip club, of course, but he shouldn't have looked at the stripper. That's wrong. He should have only looked at you the whole night. Yeah, I agree. You should handcuff him to the hotel light fixture as punishment. Yeah. He's at the weddings. I'm not doing it. I swear I'm not doing it. Angie, what do you want me to tell you? Oh, I'm sorry. That's I'm that sorry. Tale. I want you to say we're uh, sorry. I know I'm with you, Joe. Let's go. Angela says she's not gonna get married to me now. Okay, second time she's called off the wedding in the 90 days before, so far. Strike two, Mikey, but every engagement gets two strikes. If you get to three, it's off. But with them two, I'm getting nervous. They might get to a third strike. He might accidentally look at a female employee at the grocery store. Like, can you imagine he's at the grocery store, minding his own business, then he goes into the the line where the clerk's a female. Not getting married. Shut up! Shut up! They better make it to the wedding aisle. What about the beautiful suits that Angela gifted him? And he was so excited. There's so much joy in that moment. What about when she licked chocolate off his stomach? Like, oh, all that for nothing? What if I would have took y'all, your friends, into a penis place and they had to look at male strippers just bouncing their, their <laughs> Would that been presentable? No, like, I wouldn't like that at all. I mean... <laughs> A penis place. What if I took you to a penis place, huh? Why don't they call male strip clubs that? I wanna live in a world where I can go to Google Maps and type in penis place, and it will just show all the penis places within a 50 mile radius. Let me check. Penis place. No results found? Okay, I don't wanna live in a world where there isn't penis places. We need to get on this in 2021. Yes, I want world peace, but I also want a world full of penis places scattered across every city. Once quarantine is over, I'm hitting all the penis places. You can't stop me. You guys are like, we don't really care. Like, do whatever you want. But you can't stop me. I think I just climaxed. They made it! Angie and Mike made it to the wedding. The only thing that could ruin it is if Michael accidentally like looks out into the audience at one of his female aunts or like his sister, one of his female cousins. He better not look at any of them. If he even glances at his mother, it's over. This wedding night is either gonna end with Mikey getting handcuffed in a sexual positive way or a negative violent way. We don't know at this point. <laughs> I have I present to your marriage certificate. Congratulations, look at the camera. They did it! Also, does Angela have a tattoo really close to her nipple? Yes. I'm always finding out something new about her. I'm tearing up. My eyes are completely dry. But yeah, this is really cute. I love true love. Oh, I can't take it. This is so romantic. 
Just kidding. What? What was that? Traditional Nigerian wedding, no. The groom showers the bride money, no, to show love and happiness support. It's sweet and fun. That is sweet and fun. I want to get married in Nigeria. Are you kidding me? You get to get showered in money while your whole extended family watches? Count me in. Honestly, sounds like a fun time. Sometime in my lifetime, I do want to get showered in dollar bills in front of a crowd. I don't know how I'm going to get that to happen, but I will start arranging some some stuff for that to come to fruition. That'll be on my 2021 resolutions list. Throwing an event where people gather around and money is thrown on me in a serious matter. Like, it's not like, ha ha, this is a joke. It's like, no, this is serious. Like he's getting bands thrown on him, you know? And everyone who's there will be related to me. Sounds great. <laughs> so I was worried that you and Angela weren't having sex, but she told me this morning that <laughs> y'all both had orgasms. <laughs> what? Angie. I was worried as well, but I'm glad now I can rest assured knowing they both reached climax. <laughs> they both squirt fluids. Fluids were squirted into the air in physical pleasure. Yes, just how a wedding night should end. <sighs> I'm happy for them. When he went to go in there and cut the lights off, I put on my nice, my little lingerie, just my see-through lace, and he didn't know it was rubbing my leg, and I just moved the covers, and I'm butt naked besides here. All he has to do is see my boobs, and. It salutes me. Yeah, I'm glad I got that entire visual. <laughs> That's great, good for them. I love seeing Michael lustfully remember the erotic night. You can tell he loves reimagining it over and over. Well, that's it for today. I'm glad you came along for the journey. I always just love sharing really wholesome romantic stories for you all to enjoy, so you're welcome. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss another video like this. Hit that thumb hard and have a good holiday. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs>